We all know that the United States prides itself in being the beacon of democracy and freedom. When it comes to Russia's latest steps surrounding the events unraveling in Ukraine, accusations have been flying high from Washington. But if we look at countless facts, past and present, while the U.S. demands that its finger-pointing is taken seriously by the rest of the world, how often has the U.S. listened to what others had to say on its actions? Russia has a naval base in Crimea that has been there for years. The U.S., in the meantime, has more than 700 military bases around the world and is the notorious world leader of getting involved in wars that are opposed to not just at home, but also abroad. But memory, when convenient, becomes short. You just don't invade another country on phony pretext. As if the invasion of Iraq in 2003 had never happened under what was later proven to be such false pretenses, some would argue the world is still shocked. The people of the United States and our friends and allies will not live at the mercy of an outlaw regime that threatens the peace with weapons of mass murder. We will meet that threat now with our Army, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard and Marines. The U.S. war in Afghanistan is officially the longest running war in American history. And let's not forget the drone war killing civilians abroad that the U.S. is leading. No more drones! Despite sharp criticism of these tactics. And most recently, Syria, of course, yet another potential military escapade that the U.S. president had been rooting for that was essentially avoided at the last minute, largely thanks to Russia that spearheaded brokering another way towards a solution. I have decided that the United States should take military action against Syrian regime targets. Military aggression, one example after another. Russia has strategic reasons to care about what happens in Crimea next, as opposed to undertaking military ventures whenever fancy strikes. As has become so traditional in the U.S., it barely surprises anyone anymore. Actual military action has not even been given a green light for by the Russian president, and Russia never said it's interested in war with Ukraine. Regardless, the world's top aggressor accuses Moscow of being one, applying double standards upon convenience. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.